Ashley Judd gave an update on her recovery on Monday after suffering devastating injuries in an accident in the Congo jungle earlier this month. The 52-year-old actress shattered her leg after tripping over a tree in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, while going to see the endangered bonobos monkeys, and got treatment at Sunny Hill Hospital in Johannesburg, South Africa, after a grueling 55-hour journey. I arrived to them from DRC in terrible shape and my leg had no pulse, Judd wrote in her Instagram post along with a selection of photos of the medical staff taking care of her. I desperately needed a blood transfusion. Their sisters, nurses, are exemplar, technically top-notch, and they cared for the trauma in my body as well as my soul with equal proficiency. The actress went on to say the staff had to make split-second decisions upon my arrival to work out how to treat her injury. Her surgeon, Dr. Eugene Graff, was super at stabilizing my leg with the external fixator until the massive soft tissue damage and swelling went down so that I could have the big operation. What he did was significant and I am forever in his debt, she added, while also noting that she's been treated at the a time when South African hospitals are dealing with the COVID B1.351 strain which is a faster spreading variant of COVID-19. Ashley is now back in the U.S., accompanied by her father Michael Simonella who flew out to South Africa to be with the actress revealed she and her dad made the 22-hour journey, consisting of four different flights, back to the U.S. thanks to unbelievably efficient disaster travel insurance on an air and Ashley says she is now up and around and thanked all of the staff that have helped her through her traumatic experience. The actress revealed on February 12th that she had been rushed to the ICU in the hospital in South Africa after she suffered a fall which left her with a shattered leg in four places as well as nerve damage whilst in the convo. Ashley shared images of her lengthy 55-hour ordeal, which saw her travel across the continent in stages before reaching her final destination in a lengthy caption on Instagram, she wrote, Friends, without my Congolese brothers and sisters, my internal bleeding would have likely killed me, and I would have lost my life. I wake up weeping in gratitude, deeply moved by each person who contributed something life-giving and spirit-salving during my grueling 55-hour audit. Sick Ashley went on to thank each of the people involved in getting her the help she needed, including a man she named Papa Jean, who manipulated and adjusted her broken bones so that she could be transported sick. She said, Papa Jean, it took five hours, but eventually he found me, wretched and wild on the ground, and calmly assessed my broken leg. He told me what he had to do. I bit a stick. I held on to Maud. And Papa Jean, with certainty began to manipulate and adjust my broken bones back into something like a position I could be transported in, while I saw how he did that so methodically while I was like an animal is beyond me. He, and he had to do this twice. When she first detailed her 55-hour ordeal, Ashley described it as incredibly harrowing, and said it began with five hours of lying on the forest floor with one of her colleagues until she was able to be evacuated. She added, he had, his leg under my badly misshapen leg. And I was, biting my stick. Helen like a wild animal. Five hours after her accident someone arrived to reset her bones, before she was carried through the rainforest to a motorcycle, where she was driven for six hours to the city of Jolo. After spending the night in the city, she was then flown to the capital of Kinshasa to stay for 24 hours and then, eventually, down to South Africa to be treated in an ICU in that country. Speaking to the New York Times Nicholas Kristof for an Instagram Live interview, she said, I'm in a lot of love, I'm in a lot of compassion and I'm in a lot of gratitude. I thank everyone for their thoughts and their prayers.